it's Tom with Fresh Finish. Today we're checking out another awesome King Bowen scan tool from the family of King Bowen products. We'd like to thank them for sending this over so we can make this video. Today we're specifically talking about the S600. Uh, this is one of the S500, 600, and 800. And the, the shout out, uh, what we're looking at here today is kind of the middle of the road. And what I mean is, this is an e-diag. We have a link in the description for the video for this. And with this, this unit is what gives you the ability to plug in and you have the software and app on your phone. But what if you don't necessarily want that? What if you actually want to have your own actual scan tool, like a standalone unit, so you don't necessarily have to use your cell phone? Or you're a shop and you want a quick second tool and you don't have to fumble with your phone. You can just plug this into the car, push some buttons and get your uh, codes read. That's where this line comes in. And this is a great middle of the road option for you. With that, the S600, and let me make sure I have, yep, there's the S600 there. This is the middle of the middle, so to speak. And what I mean is, the these things look identical. This is the S500, and we're unboxing the S600 right now. So to get started, we have the S600 here, and it looks identical to the S500. You can see S500, S600. And so I'm just gonna set this over here for a minute, and let's see what else is inside the box here. So we have our manual, very nice, oops, upside down, there we go, and we also have our uh, USB-C charging cable, so that's great to see, and we have our OBD2 to serial connector. Okay, so the S600, very quickly, we're going to go out to the car and scan my CRV, check the check engine light, but what you're buying here is obviously you're getting identical tools per se. You're, there's a difference in the software, and I'm not going to try to pretend that I know uh, the app, like all the features, but if you start thinking about the S500 having oil, brake, SAS, and ETS, the S600 has oil, brake, steering angle sensor, electronic throttle, uh, BMS, diesel particulate filter, TPMS, and brake bleeding. And with that, we're going to go out and actually scan my CRV to see what, why the check engine light's on, so let's go do that right now. So we are in the 2005 Honda CRV, and I've had the check engine light on here for a little bit. So we have this propped up. We're going to tempt fate and hope that it doesn't fall down. But you can see the battery's charging, and I have the ignition on already. So I want to go into diagnosis, and let's find Honda here. And a lot of the software day-to-day, -day, it's actually gotten pretty standardized. It's actually saying Honda Acura, and that says connecting the VCI, so 16 pin, that's North America, US, and we'll choose US here. It's communicating with the car. While we're waiting there, the, this unit will do live data graphing, OBD2 reading, it'll clear codes. Uh, it actually does a bunch of different communication with modules inside the vehicle. And we'll show you that here in just a minute. And you can see it identified the VIN. And what else is in here? Please record or print, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we tempted fate and we lost on that one because it just fell down. So we, down, we have it down here now. And we're gonna go ahead and choose Honda here. And it's communicating to the computer. This is serial mode, it's just that actual connector is a serial connector, that's all that means. And 16 pin for OBD2, United States. And while we're waiting here, uh, this thing will do airbag reads, it'll actually do um, OBD2, live data graphing, it'll clear codes, and it actually has a few different other features such as um, oil, brake, SAS, electronic throttle, DPF, diesel particulate filter, TPMS, and brake bleed. So a lot of really cool features in this thing that we'll show you in a minute here. So it actually vinned, it shows you the VIN. And let's do a system selection. And this time, let's look at, let's go find our system scan. Okay, so this is going to scan through everything. We'll just fast forward this so you don't have to sit through the entire thing. Okay, 
All right, so we actually have all of our scanned equipped and not equipped. So the not equipped are not showing up, so to speak, but we can see I have a fuel injection system, automatic transmission, ABS, blah, blah, blah. So all the uh, usual suspects here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit home and I'm gonna hit okay. And I wanna specifically scan OBD2. I wanna see what's going on with this check engine light. And again, it's scanning. So what it's doing is it's scanning through the different protocols used around the world. Uh, and with that, it's gonna get down to, you can't see it, but there's a, I believe it's an ISO 9141-2, I think it is. Uh, it's going to fail through all these and then actually connect under that 9141. So we'll see that here in a minute. Here I touch the screen. There we go. So you see 9141-2. And there's the VIN. It's just VIN again. It's telling us we have a um, something illumination lamp. I can't remember what the N, forgive me, or the M, forgive me. Data trouble code. So we do have a data trouble code. And let's do this. Click OK. So let's actually read that fault code. So there's that. Okay, so it's a really common P0420. I'm pretty sure that is for uh, the um, O2 sensors, or O2 sensor, I should say, one of the two. So that's good to know. And if I wanted to clear that code, I could just clear the fault code there. But let's read some live data. Here's our throttle position. And yeah, we'll just grab a few different random things here. And let's see what we have here. Okay, so I'm going to start the car. And you can see the throttle position sensor position, or the, sorry, the absolute throttle position. And that's interesting. I'm not seeing the fuel trim. I wonder if that has anything to do with the O2 sensor. So I'm not seeing anything there, even when I rev it up. So that's actually kind of interesting. You can hear the engine revving. You can see the voltage going to 15 volts when I rev the engine. So it is communicating. Um, interesting. Okay. That might be part of my check engine light. But I'm going to go ahead and let's see what else we have here. Another great feature of the S600, and this is uh, the main software that you're buying. Uh, that's the, one of the big reasons to buy this is you're getting these different options. If you were to look at the S500, it only has some of these, and then conversely, the bigger brother of this, the S800, actually has a, m a bunch more, probably like double. So this is a good like middle of the middle, so to speak. And this has a lot of great things, uh, oil reset, uh, ABS brake bleeding, if you have a diesel engine, diesel particulate filter reset, and uh, other things to actually keep the car moving down the road and doing a lot of uh, resets. Uh, just for example, let's do an oil light reset here. My oil light is not on, so it may tell me that it doesn't need to reset the oil light, but we'll see what happens here. Okay, and it's asking me to find my car. The ignition is on. My guess is it's going to tell us that it's... Let's do a manual reset. This function is manual reset mode. And it's asking me for what kind of vehicle. Okay. Okay, so this is the actual manual reset on how you would, you would do it yourself kind of thing versus having the software reset it. My light, the oil reset light is actually not on in, in the CRV right now, but this is a great way to do it manually. And uh, this is actually the same process now that I'm looking at it. 
they have a service indicator soon light that comes on. So this is the exact same process. Just press and hold for 10 seconds with the ignition on, but the engine not running. And let's take a look and see what else is in here. So if you were to take screenshots, like if you were graphing live data, speaking more to like a shop owner, if you were graphing live data, you can actually, uh, we have not done that with the 600 here, but you can save your files here and then you would find the files if you wanted to send them to a customer, for example. Uh, the update is where you would actually do your software updates. You can connect this to Wi-Fi and you can do your software updates there. And then you can store your repair info for uh, various, uh, you know, various things and your actual fault code library and a coverage list and whatnot in here. So to wrap things up here, the S600 King Bowling unit, overall great unit and uh, more features here than what you're going to get with the, uh, the S500 versus spending more money with the S800 over here. All that to say, uh, it's a great unit if you're a DIYer and you're looking to take it up a notch from uh, the E-Diag, for example. And uh, if you're a shop owner, uh, if you're looking to not use your phone every single time you have an E-Diag e now or something like that, uh, this is a great unit, grab-and-go unit to help you turn more bays. Uh, we're, we actually have a link in the description for the S500, 600, 800, and a comparison video as well. So make sure you check those out if you're looking at all of these. And if you're interested in an actual standalone unit, I'm sorry, an actual unit that you use with your own phone, check out the link right here or here. It'll pop up and you can watch the eDiag video. With that, if you like class cars, if you like muscle cars, if you like Cadillacs and Chevelles, if you like old Corvettes, if you like Chargers and Mustangs, and if you like DIY repair, and if you like diagnostics, Fresh Finish is your channel. Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.